I'm visiting the south of the south and the blue line today with the Minister of Defense and the commander of the Lebanese Armed Forces to thank our troops and to tell the Lebanese Armed Forces that they and only they are the legitimate force in charge of defending our borders. I am here today to reaffirm my government's commitment with all its components to Security Council Resolution 1701. I urge the UN Secretary General to support efforts to secure, as soon as possible, a state of permanent ceasefire. This is long overdue, and my government is committed to move this agenda forward. I am here to tell UNIFIL and all the troop contributing countries that their men and women are playing a key role in maintaining peace on our southern border and we value this, we value your commitment and we value your role. The government, the government of Lebanon will never forget the considerable sacrifices by soldiers and command and the daily hard work both as professional soldiers and in social relief. It's wonderful to have the Prime Minister of Lebanon here on the Blue Line, experiencing what is happening here, and most importantly, reinforcing a total commitment to UN SCR 1701. Also to be speaking now about permanent ceasefire. This is a term that we really need to get to here. UNIFIL has been here for too many years. We really need to get to a point where we are discussing permanent ceasefire and make sure that that term enters into the lexicon here. In the context of the meeting today, we also had the new Lebanese Army Chief of Defence, General Aoun, who is very knowledgeable about the experience of UNIFIL and of, of course, the Lebanese Armed Forces in South Lebanon because he has recently been a commander in this area. So it was really very encouraging to be with him and Prime Minister Hariri and to discuss the possibility of a deeper and more broader deployment of LAF armed forces down to the south to work closely with UNIFIL so that UNIFIL can in time hand over to the Lebanese armed forces, allow an expre a full expression of Lebanese sovereignty right up to the blue line and UNIFIL could, have, uh, could look at an end state and a departure from this area in time.